started scraping there I'm still with a manual scraper I think I'll go for bearing the next time just to, I think that this should be the let's say the, the last one with the manual scraper for Rafi I have tried to use a technique where I go from left to right in individual strokes and then I roll just from left to right and from right to left again while I go on within comfortable limits and I find also that uh, it's easier to get let's say chatter marks if I don't push really push on to the scraper so in that lighter strokes more liable to get uh, minor scratches especially here on the corners I don't know if that's my technique lack of technique or is a general observation among others but that seems to be true here at least so I now Instead of chicken scratching, as Richard said, or <laughs> leaning towards that term, I try to push more down on it. I think that's been an, a, an error I have done. <laughs> if you hear the rattling, it's just the barbells in my training room. Okay, and you might also see, no, you can't, hold on, see this blotch here, I've tried to, to feel if there was some dirt there, the reason why I'm saying this is that this kind of protruded above the, the others visually, and it might be because of Let's see, move over here to the straight edge, to this area, where, in which case you can use the straight edge and uh, see where you have blued up the um, surface as a witness proof of, oh, here is something wrong, what happened here, and try to go back again and then see on your part where that was. The surface wasn't really much worn. But you might see the line here, which is the just a marking. There is no no scratch here, no no ridge here, but just a marking from the oil uh, groove on the adjoining part. Don't know if you see how it. You can see my scrape marks. Also. I have shortened my strokes, but let's see how it blows up now. Since I have this rather special straight edge, uh, a little bit more. See the moisture. So, to get rid of all that. I use gloves not to get my, and it's becoming a little bit cold here. So I think uh, to avoid heating up the straight edge, direct contact, I use these gloves. But I would really prefer not to do it this, this way, but that's the only practical way I've found now. And since I'm leaning to the outer edges, I have to this. I mean, now I have already glued up the outer edge, so this must be disregarded. But I tilt it in, okay, rub it a little bit outwards, like that. Try to feel where the pivot point is, that's not easy. Anyway, a little bit up and then rub it again. And now, of course, same in reverse. Ah. Okay. 
Ooh. Okay. Uh, okay, Rob. For those of you that found my long straight edge there, strange. They are professional, or at least made and used by a, by a real company and maintained. Uh, this was bought as they uh, have uh, had surplus, restructured the business and then had some surplus straight edges. So this uh, small one and the medium one and this long one came with another one for a fair price. And it says here Kvernebrug, which is uh, the old name for, um, for one of the Norwegian uh, quite big uh, industrial companies. Retold means straight edge, number 36, length. This goes in millimeters, 415, height 100, and T, which must be maybe the, the width, 50. Treated carefully to be kept in the box. The same here, and also with a calibration sticker saying it was calibrated in uh, one next calibration 05 <laughs> so it's been a while but you can see they are made oh shit here we from a milled piece of looks like railroad track almost been through some cycles just maybe uh, explaining why uh, why I use this uh, at least tried the, um, to get the maximum rigidity out of my let's say my my uh, my uh, work position and then I rested my hand onto the surface here and then instead of you know, I could tuck it in into my my body and then it, but and then jolt it like that. But I seem to be getting more stability by having the the pivot point or the not the pivot point, but the the, um, the anchoring point close to this uh, edge. So using you know a, a, a thumb and an index finger grip, I could move it in a smaller. Strokes, but I also can um, put my hand down here and then either roll it or you know going like that just using my right hand like uh, this to control it instead of lifting up the, the anchoring point I can also get more leverage that way Sure, we we'll let the professor decide what potential errors there would be here, what he can see, and then discuss. But I seem to be more comfortable this way. Okay. Okay. Just wanted to do. Of course, those of you wondered about the glove thing can point out that this also warms up the surface. Okay, this is a bigger surface, so could be local, but in any case, I don't think uh, I showed you this with a glove because I think Richard mentioned, and I don't know, know that he has done so before, that that is a point, but I think my um, entire, let's say, experience level and all uh, what the situation here is, I have a greater potential for errors and that my, uh, you know, this doesn't matter so much. Okay, need some documentation on the surface quality. See a little bit shallow here or... So it needs a few more. I guess, just to reference, this is a little bit hard to see. Yes, 
this is not that bad. Uh, shallow here, yes. I know it's not a hundred percent cover, but cover uh, would be now I have built up this edge I have 90 degrees and tried them on both and as you see there are good contact a little bit shy on the outer sides here uh, on some parts but on the average I guess that's okay okay I've oiled up the way here and then I test the inner ways to one another. Of course, I put much effort into making these outer ways, which is only our only clearance, also uh, parallel and and flat. But I guess that's if not a waste of effort. So, according to Conley, it should be done, but really not necessary. But these are the two guidance ways. So, proving that they are. Flat and parallel to one another, I have set up and measure against one another and see that they align well and are within one thousandth of a millimeter along the way here. So they are roughly four tenths over the system here which is um, 33 inches so I am at least within half a thousand per foot okay I try to fix this now so I can read and while I'm moving along, a little bit hard, but we try. We can see then that I have or are within thousands. Mm-hmm. <sighs>